So I tried to make a Baby Yoda out of salt dough. He kind of slumped. <laughs> But this time, let's try air dry clay and see if it works any better. I'm just gonna cut a little piece off. If you have a knife at home, that's perfect. I just, I'm at school. I don't have a knife, um, but I do have a clay wire cutting tool, so I'm just gonna use that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little for his head and roll it into a sphere. Just, you can roll it your hands like this, roll it on the table. For his ears, I'm gonna try to just pull those out. I don't know if you saw what I did there, but I just pressed my finger on this side and squeezed that, kind of push it down and then squeeze it out. And you get a pretty decent ear. I'm gonna take this whole rest of this piece of clay I have, a nice big ball, and I'm gonna make a pinch pot for his body. And that's gonna make it hollow, which will help it to dry more quickly. I'm gonna put my finger in through there and I'm going to duck quack around with this part by pressing my thumb all the way against these fingers and not just the tips. And I'm gonna press all the way in there and I'm aiming to press this part and if you're gonna get some of this along the way, but if you aim to press the bottom, you're gonna have a big thick part at the top. And I'm kind of making it a triangle. What I would do with normal clay um, is I would use my finger and sometimes add a little bit of water. This doesn't blend as well as normal clay as far as just taking your finger and smoothing it. And a little water goes a long way. I think that's probably gonna be true for air dry clay as well. So you don't want it getting all slimy. Okay, so I have my base. And if yours is like mine and I maybe got him too far out, you can do surgery show you how to do that. If you just take a knife and cut out a triangle, then you can score and slip those two pieces together and it won't be as wide. And so I'm gonna score and slip on this. Scoring is boring, but I make lots of lines. Slipping is dipping and I like it just fine. I'm using water as slip. Real slip is something different. Smoothing is soothing, it erases the line, so I can make this look like there was no surgery. Back to normal. So he needs some arms, and it actually could be cool to like make his float cloak a little flowy, so I might put some indentations in there. And when you're working with your air dry clay, you wanna keep the lid closed as much as possible so it doesn't dry out. So I'm gonna take another piece of clay and divide it into two, and I'm going to make a snake. Just a regular coil. You don't want it too thin because this is gonna be his arm and you can make two of those. We'll cut these to be the same size. Kind of see how I want them arranged on here. And then what I will do is, I'm gonna treat this like regular clay. Another thing you guys can use at home is a toothbrush or a fork. Scoring is boring, but I make lots of lines, so you're gonna score and slip both of those on. And I'm gonna score on both where I'm attaching it and the piece I'm attaching. And I like to think of this scoring lines as little fingers that are like grabbing onto each other so that when the clay dries, it doesn't pull apart. And then the last part is really important, which is smoothing. Smoothing is soothing. It erases the lines. And on a piece like this where you want the lines to show because you want it to be an arm, just pick one spot that you can erase the lines at. And for this one, that's the back. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Another thing that this Yoda has is that big collar. So once I've got my coil rolled, I'm just gonna pat it down so that it's kind of flat. And I'm gonna wrap that around him to see how long it needs to be and cut it. And I'm gonna use the scoring and slipping. Honestly, I don't know if I even have to do this, but 
Better safe than sorry. I think one of the most important features though, because what it says on the container is use water. So I'm thinking the water is probably our most important step to attaching those. And I'm gonna wrap the collar around. I'm gonna tuck this one underneath because it doesn't look as good as this side. I have all these clay tools, but you can use a knife at home and just make a knife would honestly, for a lot of this stuff, I feel like be easier. We want a cuff that matches the collar. So you're gonna roll a little coil, a little snake, and smash it flat. Then you'll go ahead and score and slip. Scoring is boring, but I make lots of lines. Slipping is dipping, and I like it just fine. And you're gonna score and slip on the place where you're attaching it. And you're gonna add water to both sides. And then the last part will be the fingers. You guys should have a little nub there and you're just, he has three little fingers. So you can just make a little slit here with both of your tools. So now you're gonna take a ball, roll a nice little ball, cut it in half. These are gonna be for the eyes. And you're gonna score and slip on both sides. And then this is a little creepy, but you're gonna have to score on your Yoda. You can see from my nose, I kind of just pinched out a little nose. I had to stop making this video while, when my classes came in and I didn't wrap it up. And now he's getting kind of stiff. But you guys probably won't have to do that. But if you do have to stop while you're making it, I would just go ahead and wrap him up. So once you get your Yoda done how you like it, you can let him dry and then we'll paint him. It's supposed to take two, three days to dry. My air dry clay Yoda has been drying for a few days now. I don't think he's all the way dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint him anyways. I'm gonna use acrylic paint. And I thought I would also show you guys if you don't have the baby Yoda colors and you just have like your classic red, yellow, and blue and green, how to mix some colors for him. I'm gonna start with a little green and a little yellow and I'm gonna mix those two together. I think I need a little more yellow. And now I'm gonna add some white to this. It looks pretty good. If I want to tone it down a little bit, you could add a tiny bit of red. I didn't push record on my video, but I got about this much red and mixed it into the green. So green and red are opposite colors on the color wheel. And that means when you mix them together, they're gonna to make brown. So it just makes it a more muted color. So before I had a much brighter green, and then when you mix that red in, it makes it more muted. And now this is gonna be even more muted because I'm adding more red. I think that's a good color, and I can go ahead and paint his little face. I switched my palette because the paper plate was really absorbing a lot of that paint. When I'm at home and when I use acrylic, I use a plastic plate. You just have to wash it. This is really a watercolor palette and if you use acrylic on a watercolor palette, you can ruin your watercolor palette. But if you wash it, it's fine. So I'm gonna mix a little pink for the ears just by adding a tiny bit of red to the white. And that is a pretty little pink. Now, if you had started with the red and tried adding white, you're gonna have to add so much white. So I definitely recommend starting with a tiny bit. I just wasted a lot because I really don't need that much pink just for the inside of his ears. For the next step, I wanna do his eyes and I gotta remind myself I don't need that much paint. I'm going to, like I said, you're gonna, you wanna start with your lightest color first. So his eyes are basically black, but I kinda want them to be a little blue, just for fun. So I'm gonna take a little black to my blue and see how far it goes. These darker colors are so powerful that it's easier if you start with less and build up. And I may even want two versions of this color. So I'm gonna mix black with a little bit of the blue that I've got here, this grayish blue, and I'll do some in this and some in this. I looked at a better picture of Baby Yoda and really it looks like he's got more um, brown eyes actually. But, oh well, that's okay. My Baby Yoda's got blue eyes. So I'm gonna take this lighter blue. I think I'm just gonna take a little of the white and make a highlight for his eye. 
Now for his cloak, which is tan. So I'm gonna start with yellow, add some red, less red. Opposite of orange is blue. So if I wanna make this a little bit more brown, I can add a little blue to it. So it's actually not bad. Maybe we need a tiny bit more red because it's a little greeny. There we go. So you just wanna think if your color is not quite right, think of what the opposite is that's gonna mute it down. Okay, so I'm gonna add white. There we go. Okay, so that was orange. So we made orange with red and yellow. And if I had probably made a brighter orange, honestly, it would have been fine. We put a little blue in it to make it a little duller, and then we added white. And it's good to know what you mix to get a color because like right now I'm already running out. So I'll have to mix that again. 